I ain't gonna lie, this is a clean, this is a clean bike though. Let's pull her out. Yo, what is going on guys? <clears throat> Hope you guys are having a blessed day today. I'm pretty beat, I'm pretty tired. I just got out the shower, so. Um, but today, I got someone coming to look at the Kawasaki Supermoto. As you guys know, I sold the BMW and I also sold the other FZ. So for this winter, um, two things are gonna happen. I'm probably gonna make this KTM Street legal. And then I'm thinking about swapping out the engine in this Grom. I don't know what to swap it to, maybe a 300. I'm, I'm really thinking like a CR250 two stroke um, motor. I don't know, that'd be pretty dope. I've seen one person on YouTube do it. I think that'd be pretty cool for like a winter project. I don't know. All I do know is I need some new shoes, big time. And the other thing is I'm pretty mad because um, whenever I went to test ride the Grom, I, I did like the test ride and then my GoPro on my camera, the, the mic didn't like hook up or whatever. So I got to get another like riding video of it. Um, I don't know. We'll see though. I'm gonna pull the Kawasaki out right now. And I think it's leaking a little bit of oil. I think I just need to tighten up a bolt. I'm gonna take it around for a spin and then the guy will be here in like, I don't know, he'll be here, here in like two hours. So it's whatever, we'll see how it rides. I ain't gonna lie, this is a clean, this is a clean bike though. Let's pull her out. Man, I haven't even like, I really rode this bike even once. I mean, I rode it once just around the neighborhood, but nothing crazy. Oh. I didn't ride it nothing crazy. So let's take it for a spin. See if we can fix a little oil leak. See how that goes. There we go. So what I'm seeing here is it's uh, if you can tell, it's kind of got. I just took a shower, so I'm not gonna try and touch it all, but it's it's got a lot of oil residue, and whenever I come back from a ride, it'll leak a little bit. Um, but as you can tell, I mean, I can feel up under here. There's nothing there. And there's just nothing around the engine. So what I'm really thinking, see if I can get you guys under there. I'm really thinking that it's the bolt. Because you can see all the, if you guys can see the residue. I think the bolt, um, just to drain the oil is a little bit loose because it's there's a lot of residue down there. So I'm literally just going to tighten up the bolt underneath, take it for a ride. And then I think that's, I think that's why it's leaking. It's just right under there because there's nothing around here. Um, it's literally just under there right by the bolt. So I'm gonna tighten that up and then take it for a spin. So I grabbed my 14 millimeter and I realized the drain bolt, it's super tight. So I know it's not that bolt, but there's a bolt that's right there that it looks like, I don't even know if you guys can see that one right there. I don't know even what that is, but it looks like it's coming out of there. So I gotta take, I gotta take the skid plate off and just get to it. So. I ended up just taking the skid plate all the way off. So I can just honestly, so I can just clean up all the all the extra oil off of it and make it look super nice. But I really think it's coming in. Let's see if I can see it from this bolt right there, just on the back side. Right there. Or not there, right there, something like that. Can't point to it with the camera. But I'm gonna get this all cleaned off, tighten up that bolt. Honestly, I might as well tighten up all the bolts just in case. Um, but I'll do that right now and take a first spin. All right, so I just got it off, all cleaned up. I got it all cleaned up down here. I'm pretty much tightened up every single bolt, every single bolt on both sides. And they all seem tight, so I'm thinking it could be the right side gasket over there because it looks like it could be, I don't know. Um, I'm just gonna leave the skid plate off right now. Take it for a quick spin around the block, throw my helmet on, see if I can get my mic working this time. And then, uh, um, just go from there, see if I can see where it's leaking whenever I do it there. Because honestly, I can't even tell where, where it's coming from. So, I'm just going to check it out. Alright, y'all are going to kill me, and I'm killing myself too. I did not have the mic and the GoPro plugged in. I'm being a complete idiot. So, for this little first ride of the KX Supermoto, you don't get to hear the engine. You don't get to hear me goofing around, making jokes. 
you, sadly, all you're going to get is I'm going to throw a little audio clip on, just some little music in the background, sit back and relax, chill out. I know it sucks. I'm kicking myself. I'm so mad at myself that I didn't have it going because I was goofing around, having a blast in the neighborhood, riding this for the first time. Sadly, you don't get to see my live reaction. Either way, sit back and relax, listen to the music, chill out, and watch me rip the supermoto around, baby. Let's go. There were so many people. I saw people in my neighborhood just don't even care if you rip bikes or whatever because so many people in the neighborhood have stuff. But let's let's see where it's leaking from. So this is fresh right here. Okay, so it's fresh right there. Okay, so where is it coming up? This looks like it's all messed up. 
It's all oiled up in here. I honestly couldn't even tell you where it's coming from. Freaking, I got the guy coming. Okay. I guess I'll I'll get back on whenever I figure something out. Alright, now I'm just tripping out because I can see that it's leaking right there, but I don't know what the heck this is. This is the clutch, but it's not hydraulic, so I don't know what I don't know if it's just extra like chain lube or something. But now I'm tripping out because what the heck? Now it's oil's leaking back here too. Going down. <sighs> so I'm just gonna wipe it up. The guy's coming in like two hours. I'm gonna tell him about it. Um well, not even two hours now. Now it's like 30 minutes, which is stupid. Um, and it's warm, so he's gonna, uh, he shouldn't even come at all, but my hair's all over the place. It's whatever. I'm gonna clean this up and just, I don't know, tell him about it. See if he wants it or not. We'll see. But it's all good. All right, I just got the skid plate back on. And it, it looks like it's coming down from this hose right here, which is coming in between inside of here. Yeah, it's coming from the back there, and I have no idea what that is, because normally when the counter shaft seal behind the sprocket leaks, normally down low, I have no idea what's even in there. But now next thing you know, how, how the heck, there's nothing going back here. Is it just catching the chain? Now it's coming, I don't even know, man. I don't even know. I'm just gonna get this thing cooled down. I'll give it to him for a better price if he wants it. I don't know, we'll see. I just need to sell it because winter's here, so it's whatever, you know. Buying and selling. Another bikes will be coming soon, so we'll see when he gets here. All right, guys, my hair is a mess now, uh, but I just threw the fan on it, keep it cool. I never like showing up whenever someone's already had a bike warmed up because it makes it seem like it was hard to start. I mean, this bike's not hard to start. I'm not hiding anything. It's literally just the oil. I want to check it out because I haven't even been able to ride it or do anything with it. Um, but no, I always no no one likes to show up with a warm bike because that's like the number one thing that it's it's probably hard to start. So, I'm just gonna get it cooled down, get it cooled off before he shows up, so. All right, so the guy's coming over right now to check out, check out the Supermoto. So I'm gonna get it all out, get it all set up. Um, and the other thing is, I'm pretty mad because I just went through my footage and I realized me riding around the neighborhood again, I didn't have the cords plugged in for the second time because I'm a freaking idiot. So, I may have to voice over, you may just say, have, hear me voicing it over um, but the next riding clips I'm for sure gonna make sure my plug is in and we'll pull this out make sure it's all cleaned up and then he's gonna show up and we're gonna sell it it was a guy before I think he put a new top end in it but no bottom end um, okay. that's about it, Did you ride it uh, I rode it just on dirt for about like 10 like 10 to 15. It's a, getting on it. <laughs> he's a little sketchy, I ain't gonna lie. He's a, he's a cool dude, but how he took off, he's just like riding on it. I gotta show him his Kawasaki makes like a normal like engine tick. So I gotta pull up a video and pull up some forums and show him how it's, why, or show him that it's normal. But man, he was just ripping on it. I can hear him, I can hear him. The other one on the left is like a uh, launch control. 
like a whole shot control. So this uh, is this, uh, 2011, even here the same, like right there. And I go to the comments, and he said my 11 had the same sound as well. Mine was doing the same. My 2012, my 2011, the same. I'm research and it's normal. Uh, so I mean, yeah, my 16 sounds the same. It's just the engine on it. It's just like different. I can pull up a form and show you too, but I mean... Yeah, but see what I'm... I guess, see now it's coming back again. Yeah, I don't think that's changing. But I don't see what... See, that's not changing. I appreciate you coming down. Sorry about that. Oh yeah, sure. Sorry about that, Josh. Hey, how are you? man. Man, so he didn't want the bike. It started leaking again. And of course it just starts leaking right when I want to sell it. I've never had a bike do this. And he was like, yeah, dude, I just don't want it. I don't want the pain. So it's whatever. Um, didn't get it sold, but it's all good. Um, fix it up, maybe even sell it in spring. Do something with it too. So uh, I think that's it for the video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.